to want to come in immediately and just take these individual fights and it becomes tricky for them and that's what kind of where they left isolated onyx starting outside again look immediately knife and feeling the pressure there's players top main there's players out red he's feeling suffocated they're really down secret that's true they just run all the way through Matios gets that first kill and he's still fighting them outside keeping three bodies occupied but it's all just a distraction there are four players up the top side of the map Matios is keeping every single one of them present here and he continues to fight the bomb is being planted on B. That's wild. Ben Zero will finally deal with Matios, but the rotations are so far away, and that means they have to reroute from the entire same direction. Everyone down ramp. And there's no kit either. Time is of the essence here for Red Canids. Yeah, they've wasted so much of it. Matios just kept them distracted for so long. Adam Zero with the duelies can go for the clear, but it's a double up in towards single that's going to be difficult to disrupt. Nice shot there from Hardsout, Turtle, immediate trade, and they're not on the bomb. Now it's impossible for Destiny to win this one, even if he finds his first kill, finding the second, or only leaving with enough time, and Ponta closes. Odic taking first blood. Yeah, really. Think about going for a faster A pop after dropping down these outside smokes. This is fast. Yeah, flash over Molotov as well to disrupt, and they're going straight on through, but Destiny lines them up, even finding the third kill before he is dealt with. Nathan from the Heaven needs to at least give some space over. Don't want to put it back into the two on two, but Hardsdale just catches Ponta as he was just wanting to dribble through the extra smoke. What he is going to... Oh, no, unlucky. Hardsdale again finding success with the spam. What started so... What are you clutching this one with 25 health points? Going to be a very unlikely scenario. See what he can get done. An extra kill would be great, but it's just the headshot. No finishing blow. The Red Cannons will get on the board. Good counts. Now relegated to the pistol, and Ponta is going in fast. Smoke does <laughs> re-bloom in front of him. Destiny, though, spamming on through. Catches him out. Skirting back. So it's going to be a boost. A bit of damage done. Didn't seem to be heard or confirmed by Destiny. So Venom Zero gets exposed. Destiny under pressure, and Turtle snaps him down. Azal spam, not going to find success this time. They managed to breach the site and with nice on falling. They might have just done enough. That's a collection of errors there. Odic have been allowed a, a safe passageway into this site. Retake, look, it is achievable, but it's still difficult. Low HP on a number of these players. You haven't really got the utility to go for it, not to mention there's a kit. Hardzow is already rotating away. Davideus will soon come and follow him. A lot of overcommitments there. Destiny finds the first kill. He's full blind. Venom Zero thinks that there's an opportunity to jump up towards top heart. In essence, they should have just played the crossfires. Caught out in the open. Caught out with nowhere to go. Oh, go for the ninja. Okay. Has he gone? Uh, no, someone's coming back. I, th I think, I think, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Magios, here's the drop. NT. I love the idea. Terrorists win. Let's kill him. Actually, change up, and you see Harzal's rotating in. As soon as this utility, he needs to be aware. Nate can be here, but he looks the wrong way, and that's the opportunity. Nate is through, and he strikes twice. Destiny on the bomb site needs to find everything, but instead comes up with nothing. Nathan at the back of the site can only chime in for two kills, and there is Davideus. And he'd need to strike three times for this round to be possible, but can't get past the first hurdle of the orb. It's Odic looking dominant on their map pick. What is then? That's fun. Against the pistol, just go for a very fast play. Matias at the first kill. Adal, Deagle. <laughs> Actually does, oh my god, gets through. Goes to the reload, manages to get away. You almost believe it for a moment that he's going to do the impossible. Maybe he's given them a chance. The USP from Nython spams down Nate. Oh, nearly. But not quite. Ponta with the first. Destiny needs to swing. Destiny needs this kill. Ducking and diving around the ramp, but not possible. Knife and scavenge this AK. Has got the bomb dropped as well. This is difficult for Odic, but patience might prevail. It's difficult for Nathan though, right? Recovered AK, knows that the bomb is there and wants to try and isolate a fight early. He doesn't even have armor though. Oh, but it doesn't matter. What an adjustment, but the second player is going to be on him before he knows it. Woody comes around and with the Glock gets it done, but that gets incredibly close. Yeah. Here it's just Nate, the smokes will come down. Davide has got this one 100% and the information too. No one else is behind it. Odic finally. Odic. No. 
Instead, it's the displacement that gets Destiny. Turtle will find him, and now we're all even. And Matthias is creeping for crunching on main. Oh, they're not ready. They're not ready, Hardtail. Thought about it for a second. But caught out, and Venom Zero tucked in towards the back of default. Oh, gets a great shot onto him, but his support network starts to falter. It's Nython pushing through towards the lobby. The bomb's there on Woody. You saw it. But Woody's going to leave. Doesn't allow that opportunity. Turtle descends. And they can head towards outside. That's where the control is. Onto jumps around the corner. Venom Zero has definitely heard this. And hearing Woody run as well. You can't go down this vent. Turtle is tucked on through. Deals with Nython. 10 seconds left. They do need to plant the bomb, but all going to be confirmed when Venom Zero is positioned known. And Turtle in towards the vents. Gets seven for Otic. It's really in native languages at each other, it all means so much more. And Destiny, again, oh. caught with his nades out, fully blind, doesn't matter. He's still able to find one, but it's Ponta trying to do everything for his team in towards this bomb site. At least there's trades available for Ed Cannons. The first time they've been in a player advantage in what feels like forever. Nithon supporting from the heavens is going to descend. The bomb is in towards CT Vent. Turtle can't really escape at the moment, but maybe he does have an opportunity. Just going to go for the bomb plant. Being spammed, Hardzal. Seems to be a savant through the smoke. He sees that gun barrel, surely. He sees that gun yeah, barrel through the vent. Yeah, I think he's aware. Vent. But he knows Hardzal just spammed out his teammate in towards main, right? So. See him. Oh. oh, oh, this is crazy. It would need to be pixel perfect. Oh, but it's from the back lines. Nithon walked all the way around through hell. I feel like he must have been scoped in the whole way. What a funny way for that to end. But information, they're coming towards him and he gets that first kill, but traded immediately by Turtle. Pond is now going to drop, held out by Hardzal. So again, Red Cannons find themselves in the favorable position. The Bonte part of Destiny coming through fast. Double up utility towards Nate, who wants to fight on four. Can't find his kill. Turtle, though, charges through for one, and it's all onto Woody. A one versus three, and they open the door in his face. Slam it closed. And they'll find their fourth. Much better. You, you can see what Odic were trying to do in terms of the... Eight. Triple ramp. They're likely going to start to push forward. Davideus is aware of this possibility. And yes, teammates behind him, but he's down. Hard down. Destiny get theirs, and hard down doubles up. That's given them the pathway through. Woody and Turtle start to push behind, so they are going to be on a good flank timing, but no kit. Bomb can be planted forward. And not going to get there in time. Nice. Woody would have loved to have found that kill. That would have been the way back in. Turtle now has to do it all. First is his. Doesn't even have armor to work with. And both these players so isolated. 10 second defuse required. Taps the bomb. Has to open the door though, so you know there's no committal and he's loud on his jump. They're not gonna budge, there's no need for them to peek. Now they have to come forward. Destiny's going to swing on in. Doors opened. Turtles ran out of time. So well done from Nifen as well. By coming down. You just hope they don't throw the molly. That's yeah. quite common by double door, otherwise <laughs> Very you're, common, molly. you're cooked. Quite literally, yeah. Oh, here it well, is. Brazilian barbecue. Charging on forward and well, actually it forces the fights out. Here they're gonna start to take that. Bomb can come on three. I think any crisis should be avoided. Bomb has been planted. They wanna fight this. They, they wanna give this a go. You got rounds to play with here, Roddick. Try and do some of the economic damage. Doesn't work out initially. So now they back off hard. Sound nearly caught out by Matios, but still. A full USPs, maybe a P250 thrown in there. A couple of Galils that have been picked up. It's pretty decent for Odic. They could even rush a little bit more, try and do even more damage, but that, that feels unlikely. Yeah, you take, take three, yeah. Oh, there you go. That's brilliant. You just spam on through. Davideus will get the trade and Turtle holding for him. So this has been a brilliant round. Hard's out. <laughs> this is really careful. He doesn't lose his gun as well. Only walls up at the top of the garage. Ponte is not in a nice position, but he's able to get away thanks to the distraction of Nate. And he's just going to swing through. The entire belt of destiny is used up.
Ned capitalizes, finding Davide. He's got all the space out, A. It doesn't matter if you can't get through the doorway. Destiny finds one, but you're not ready for Matios at the second time. We'll drop a molly. Is aware that there could be someone here, but now needs to also be mindful of main. Yeah, it's not uncommon to see a double push from Rap. So Destiny, I think some heads up Counter-Strike. Azal can now spend the time to come back and group up. That has allowed Matios to come up towards heaven though, and this site that was clear is no longer safe to go to. They're going ramp, maybe, no. Went through hard, this is being held. Matias has gotten the prime position to deal with both of them. It couldn't have been more perfect. Makes sense, came down to just two players alive. Oh, that's a massive gap in that smoke. Yeah, this is rougher than Azira, but oh. maybe it's actually just more complicated for Nate. At least Woody's there to trade. Ponta has to drop, they're running through the molly. They're being very loud. Red Cannons, they've completely taken over ramp. What is going to come up towards heaven? Oh, this is funky. They're clearing him. Yeah, he's 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 okay. First kill is here. There's only two bullets, but time to reload. And now he's actually in a pretty strong position against these Tech Nines. But not a fun comes up the ladder behind him. Matias, who's been required time after time for this squad, is able to put things back into their favor. Ponte just trying to go up the ladder and flank. He's brought down incredibly low. This is a weird round. Hard's out, trying to get something back, but Ponta with low HP gets the kill. Destiny can still win this. Ponta is one shot off death. Oh, I could just drop. No, the slow descent considering. Let's see if he's floating around at all. Yeah, drops down, but Ponta's tucked in, gets the information, and that's enough for Turtle to swing off. Really good. It takes these fights. Where have been the flashbangs? Not there. Non-existent. Fast, desperate play now in towards the top side of the map. Destiny finds one with the Mac 10, but it's Turtle locking things down on the bomb site. This one is surely done. Hardzell versus the world. And it looks like it's about to swallow him up. No, not for free. Did not pay the subscription. And so he gets cancelled. 13 to 6 for Otic on Nuke. Absolutely dominant. like they did against Elevate, and that is a fantastic start. Hardzell taking the initiative, Nate hits the deck. Yeah, great opening kill. That's onto the info player at A, and Otic have a read. This is crazy. The chance that they fall into the trap, and guess what, it's working. There's count utility also available. Ponta strikes, Venom Zero trades. Here comes that utility, the scaling punished. Turtle and Woody. Now that smoke is giving them a lot of space to work with. Woody finds one. Matios just taking pot shots deep from Graffiti. And Woody starting to peek on Ford, looking to trade off the space that's being taken. Nathan can't get anything done. A call just to gamble B after you lose your solo player on A. They don't think, you know, like a pretty scary gamble for players on that side of the map but it's based on the knowledge that the retake is still very possible if they do get the gamble wrong. That's the, just the premise of CT overpass as well, just quick rotates. Nate, this time, looking to potentially get the better of, of, of Red Cat. It's not happening. Woody trying to step up with the MP9. Bomb planted at the very least. Arthmont's trying to be established. Matios is dealing a lot of damage. Finally gets overwhelmed by Knife, and but Ponta steps in with the MP9. But Venom Zero is fighting back, and this would be an astronomical clutch. Just Glocks. It's also a different fan as, but that one's out of bullets as well. Has to reload. They know exactly where he is. Walks on through, tries to get tricky with it, but Turtle holding with the auto shotgun. Famas is to be recovered. A little bit of pressure as the flash misses. Venom Zero is going to get boosted up. Woody hasn't heard it. And now spots it. Buys the kill, but the trade is immediate. Still pretty good with the auto shotgun to find one from that position. This is nice. Just re-walking in towards Divider, taking space together, and also it blocks off the connector rotate. Yeah, these are the two players that have to win this round for them. Ponta is low and nowhere near them. Odds out. This could be the fight. And he wins it out. It's all on to Matias now. Tucked in towards the bathroom. Cleared by Hards out. Fighting back into the round for them. Ponta is going to arrive at the scene, but just about avoiding the flames. Gets himself a kill. But nice on quick with the trade and Red Cannons will get on the board. Really nice for Red You'll be expecting one player here, sure. But it's the Deagle that goes first. Spotted, can't get his kill. 
Nate gets one, and Nate is now the only one left. Woody couldn't find anything with the orb. He was the one that needed to shine. Nate was just the backup plan. So the force bite, looking like it's not going to amount to too much. Ponta gets cleared. And Nate is known. Again, it's for Red Canis, it's about doing the simple fundamentals efficiently. That's exactly what happens here. Notice how... They Nathan, Molotov for truck. Smoke for dumpster. They are going to walk into a stack. Everyone in the CT is going to be here. Woody wins a fight with the USP. Trade is fast, Nate. And Turtle. Sorry, gets that kill. But Destiny against USP should be able to clean up with ease. Boost initially being set up, but that's going to be cooled off. Couldn't quite get on top in time. And Woody just gets peeked on. That's uh, communication. Yeah, I feel like you should have known that Connector had been cleared. Especially when the boost fails. You, you don't know. And Hardtail's just walked up. Look, he's got the whole entirety of the bomb site. The only thing that could get tricky here is Nate's positioning. Molly forward. He spots Turtle just fighting this one-on-one. -on -one. Hardtail wins it again. Nate will play with his food just for a little bit. Might even go for a knife, a sign of disrespect onto Davideus, but ultimately the bomb site overwhelmed by red cannons. Well, the money's definitely worth it, if nothing else. Venom Zero is going to lock them in. That's blood. Doing it with style. Potentially. Oh, and the backstab. We'll find hard out. But he's done his job. And more. Nay's being set up. First time that David Davis uh -oh. has been over here. Turtle. Boom, baby. Blasted out of his shell. Body parts. Spread out across the V bomb site. Mixing in with the sewage. Delightful soup. That was a horrible picture. <laughs> Turtle and poop soup. Double peak. Oh, double Mat damage. Double, yeah, two kills. David is gets his, but the spray is great. Kind of jump peak. In fact, a flashbang on over Matios. Yeah, no chance at all, even with the counter flash. The spray was always going to be good enough. Both CTs are here, ready to lock it down. The off from Woody crawls around the corner, looking for the opening. Destiny's coming forward with the bomb, a missed shot. And the bomb just being planted on the edge of the smoke. Woody's coming around the corner, but can't deny. And now Hardzow can swing on through. They're both so incredibly low. Destiny's not left the bomb side, and he doesn't need to. He's made his home there. And he tells them that they're not welcome. As well from Nate, who's close in long bathrooms with the SMG. Yeah. Adios' position isn't... Oh. oh. Okay, well, nice one here. Nice shot. Headshot with the orb onto that position. It's kind of crazy. A Nate spray with the MP9, two to the dome. Picks up the AK, wanting more, but Nathan is proving to be untouchable. Oh, it could swing open. In fact, it doesn't. And now he's being loud. Yeah, he is. But Davideus, that's the most important kill. Because that creates a pathway. There's still a Nova in he's play. He's heard it. He's heard it. You can see immediately. Davideus lets them know that a Nova is here. But Turtle, he lets them know. Snaps for two. And a third might just be on the platter. The Nova is what gets Odic back into this round. Turtle gets it done with a... Of what's to come, Nathan has to be that guy to provide some sort of initiative for the squad oh. miss shot from Woody. Destiny pounces on him. And now space can be claimed over at long. Yeah, Woody's been having a tough one. Every time he's in one of these pressure positions with the AWP on the CT side, he's been struggling to find his mark. This time, two targets present themselves and he couldn't quite connect. Great flashbang, but it doesn't affect Nate. He's fully blind and he still gets two kills. Finally, Destiny arrives at the scene. And a clutch is possible. One player is very low, but he has to run all the way back to get the bomb. So that great position he had becomes kind of moot. Turtle's able to walk all the way around and he can swing. He's so distracted by Ponta, the turtle completely unaccounted for. 
These are horrible ways to lose the round as well because they're mistakes that red cannons are making and they are starting to snowball. Hardsale trying to provide a little bit of an outlet, shining the spotlight of him, drawing the attention in towards Connector. But Nate, who's been prolific all series long, finds him. Completely denies all of the control. Davideus now needs to walk and account for this. But it's Nate again, creeping and crawling. Two T's in his name, but not two T's in the feed. Instead, it's Davideus who strikes. It sure comes through, but it's not enough. But he's crept forward towards the tree. Can't find his shot. Destiny gets the kill, and that is a complete opening towards A. There will be a rotation from Pond to Turtle is calling it clear. I mean, they know <laughs> that Long is compromised. Pond is quite... Yeah, it definitely felt unnecessary. Further flash comes on over the top. They've rotated an extra body up here. Matios spotted out the wide swing. A bold choice. Harzal is there to at least get the trade, but it's put the advantage for Otic. And there's a flank coming through from Ponta. He's in the back lines. Even quickly swapping to the AK on his way through. Bomb plant denied. Nathan gets the kill, but needs to clutch up. First is his, but time is not. And that's going to be the round. And they're really hoping that with this contact, it's going to get the rotates through short. And that's where Ponta lies in wait. Oh, it's... Right. Oh, okay. Let's complicate it further, says Woody. <laughs> Back down to B we go. And Matios has a whole kit of utility, so they can smoke out of them. They've got flashbangs to enter. This has worked out really well. Venom Zero is here and he's not blind. But the T's are. The flashbang catches them. Venom Zero is able to get a kill. They scale through and find it. But Davidius is still here. Destiny gets his as well. Woody can't find it. Davidius with the final with the duel. It's true for him. And it feels like maybe they tried to overcome. Woody waiting. Flashbang not good enough. Woody finds the first. And now Matthias starts to extend off the contact. Destiny needs one and he can't find anything. Bombsite breached. Has to be a save for the M4 and the AWP. Artic able just to burst into the B bomb site. Well done in terms of just putting that pressure on towards A early and keeping the attention there so that it was just those two defenders they had to deal with. Get involved. Oh my goodness me. Just on the edge of this smoke. Around the corner, he goes. Spot shadows full blind. He is, but he still manages to collect both of them. One more test, one more hurdle, and he overcomes it. Destiny with the three piece. Stage in his way from... I mean, he was he was pretty blind. <laughs> uh, it faded like partway through the fight. My name's hoping to get again. It is destiny. The constantly lost out for Woody just as knife and falls off. Jump spot now confirms there's an AWP over at Divider. As our sprays down one does cost him a lot. Starts to run towards Long, Ponta can catch him, even with the flashbang coming over. And Woody, he did get success, finds Nathan. Davideus arrives at the site and Destiny in the back lines. That's you cannot bond. get away from him. He's denying everything, even your control of the C4. Now everyone's here to party, time is running out. The bomb does get picked back up. They found Davideus, but Venom Zero can still be a threat. 10 seconds. And out from Long Destiny keeps fighting. Venom Zero finds his kill. Turtle can tap and can't find the kill. Attacking Connector, Ponta, lean the charge up short. Smoke to be blown. Venom Zero blind. Spraying alongside Destiny, but it's Davideus to find the opener. And they all start going into the bullets. There's blue on orange in the CT feed. It all lights up. And now Woody. Does need to close, but a Mac 10 versus the squad doesn't feel very likely. And Destiny will secure it. 26 and 7. Red Cannons hold on and force us to Anubis. Yeah, what? On Anubis, Matthias just jiggling, hoping to, for contact. He'll drop a flashbang. And actually, he's going to stay and fight because he's got two teammates with him. They all completely collapse on mid. Davideus trying to be the shining light for Red Cannons. He finds free, and Destiny's now looking for extremity pushes. That one hurts for Odic. They're going to clear on towards storage first and just going to plant for it. 
Oh, didn't quite stick it the first time. That was unintentional. It wasn't a fake, but it's not going to be an issue. Woody has managed to just walk on through. And Destiny, not ready, but it doesn't matter. Turns around at the perfect time, and it's lights out as he gets both kills. Merrick Canyons take first blood on Anubis. Yeah, and that's David. Again, David in towards mid. Woody on the edge of the smoke. Can he find anything? Not being affected by the flashbangs. Destiny around the corner. At least there's a trade, but Ponta is on the other side. He will find his, and Nyphon will eventually trade out. Davideus hits the shot in mid, and Arzal keeps on going. Yeah, Davideus kills everything. However, one back has definitely made this doable. Davideus caught, and Nyphon has to come up clutch. He knows where both of these players are coming from. He's on the other side of this smoke, just trying to bait him in, and the wide swing is perfect. It's Otic. When the guns come out, we'll get that onto the board. Yeah, good. And they're going to delay things. Look at this mid push. This oh. is so much info. Yeah, but Woody's alone and Flashbang is perfect. Gets his first kill, but Venom Zero is just swinging. Oh, wait a second. That's the bomb. Yep. A re-smoke comes on through. Why is the bomb at the back of the pack throwing the utility? It might be the moment that costs them this round. As Nate catches Harzal, just trying to catch a timing on the swing through. A small Nate can have a little swing, but it's actually Turtle that takes the first contact. Nate just chimes in, like, you can't. You can't break this. Sure, you picked up the bomb. Hey, guess what? There's another one on the bomb site. Ponta lying in wait, and we'll secure that kill. This time, it's straight out the gate. We're going B. And in fast, they go Venom Zero at the helm, and he can't find the kill. An open pathway for Woody and Turtle to chime in for theirs as well. And this B-Execute has led with their heads on the chopping block. One back with Davideus, but he burns alive. No safe haven for anybody on the T side. The Ponda's gone forward because he knows it's a fake. Yeah, this is really well played. And also look at the timing of that incendiary. Destiny gets the kill. That might draw all of Red Cannon's back. 25 seconds, but no, the bomb commits into B. Yeah, they know it has to be the equipment at this point. And Nate in towards Dark. Shuts them out for two. Nathan is incredibly low. Hards out spotted. Turtle and Maddie are still in the sight and a further damage dealt. There's no time. They're getting picked apart before they can even get into the site. The bomb plant even denied by Woody's flank. It's so Especially with that information and now the control over towards B main. These rifles are going to make quick work. Although Davideus does get his kill, Destiny does convert the spray. It's a little messy. Smokes are preventing Matias from getting involved. They have managed to find a way in, but it's only temporary. Nate. Gets a kill back and a lot of damage done onto Knight and Hardzow pushing forward and just spraying through a smoke. Gets a kill almost, lining up onto another. And he's the one that has to get it done. Nathan is so low. Hardzow, oh, oh, sit down. What? Sit down, says Matthias. Seven for Odic. And Odic backwards spells out kiddo. And Hardzow has just been made to look like one. That's Odic being relentless, that CT side was what was driving them forward oh against Elevate. Davideus tries to get forward, but gets shut down. Not once, but twice. Nate will find more kills. Turtles out B as well. And oh. where can you go? Where can you move? Red Cannons, absolutely nowhere. And Destiny, who tried his best in that second map, can't even have a say into this. That's a 30 second round, and that is desperation for Red Cannons. What CTs? are going to arrive at the scene very shortly and there is nothing for Red Cannons to fight this post fight with. They have no space and it's just the pistols, but maybe that's enough. Hardtail gets one onto Woody. That's the flank dealt with a rifle collected and Venom Zero getting one, but only that. nathan has got nothing. Hardtail has to do everything now. One versus three, two players are low and the first is his. A swing out from Ponta is perfect though. And the closest that Red Cannons have gotten is still denied. To, are really going to be the, the staging place for these teams. Davideus surely got this one knocked in. Should be a third. And that kill confirms it. Where were these rounds earlier? Well, they were allowed to have them. Because think about the way in which that round takes... They get all of the information and there's no need for him to face. 
This is going to be a very tricky retake, but they can just run their bodies out of Woody's angle from behind. The pillar is perfect. And he's found two. At long range, the Glocks are doing damage. Hardzow is done. No kill. Woody with three in the round and Otic with double digits. Yep. Deus, the man that you want here when this pop comes through. Smoke deployed, and they're not going to respect. They're running straight in. Pond is spraying with the MAC-10. Fires the kill. Davide is only one. And Nate's extending forward. The flashbang's fantastic, but Nathan does get cleared. Oh, drive by through the smoke. Hardzow playing around the edge of this one, looking for something back, and he's found it. Even a follow up on the turtle. A chance. Matios in a one versus two. Hardzow's incredibly low. Mac 10 fires a few pot shots, and he's just extracting himself. No rifle to collect, though. Has to work with the Mac 10. Enough. This afterplant is very winnable for Odic. Yeah, it actually feels fairly good for Matios. He's going to plant default, not going to play it though, and it's a double dark retake. He's going in investigating, seeing if he can catch off the rotate, but it's not going to be coming through. And now that he's not spotted anyone, he has a good read on the situation, swings out, finds the first kill. But it's onto the low HP player, Destiny jumps, and it is the end of him. And it might be the end of Red Cannons. 12 for Arctic, one round required. What is this? It might be flashed in. Doesn't commit. Turtle waits patiently. An exchange of napalm in towards dark. And Turtle creeps close and gets the opportunity. Hardzow walks straight into the guillotine. Yeah, great spray from Turtle to find that one. And they know Destiny's close as well. And the pressure is being applied. He's brought down low. Rotation immediately called on over. And Turtle just finds him again. A little bit of body exposed and Turtle, he will take the liberty. And there's still a need to commit. They found two openers. Turtle eventually dealt with. They're going back over towards A. It's Venom Zero who has had a rough map on Anubis. Sets himself up for the spray angle. Oh, and cops on back through it. Nathan is fast on the flank. He's going to see Woody. And he's just holding W. But Davideus falls, and so does he. Woody takes out Nython and once again eliminates that core from major contention. Yeah.